Hello. Okay, so today we're going to do some high end fun stuff. This is really confusing because the camera's facing a weird way and it looks like I'm going to about to turn and play my real piano, but I'm playing the other piano. Everything's backwards on quick time. It's so confusing. Anyway, so we're going to start with our warm up because we're going to be doing quite a bit of high end stuff. We're going to have a lot of fun up here. So don't worry about too much. Uh, accuracy with like your pitch when you're really high we're just loosening your range flipping things about having some fun um don't worry too much about your tone or any of that we're just opening up your range up at the top and just having some fun with it um but of course any tension any stress in your throat just stop immediately only go as far as is really comfortable um using your breath really really nicely to support everything is really important for this one um the last like the last video that I just posted will really help you with managing your breath for range control too. So that will really help combined with this one. But we're going to really open things up. So we're going to start with a warm up. Now what you can do, you can do these all three of them um, or just one of them. So, But I'm going to give you three options. So I'm going to go with the lip roll. The what you can do as well as or as an alternative thumb in your mouth and just a so your thumb is creating back pressure for the air so it's not just flowing straight out there's just a bit of pressure that's going to really work these muscles or you can do um, like a singing straw or a thin cocktail straw just a if you have time I would recommend do all three start with the thumb then go with the straw, then go to the lip roll. If you don't have time, one will suffice. But if you do have time, that's one heck of an awesome warm up for you to really open up things with your range. So I'm choosing lip rolls just because that's easier for me to play the piano and do lip rolls. Otherwise, I think I would choose the thumb to start. Um, so we'll start nice and low for, uh, for the low voices. for you, you can drop it the octave or just hang tight and come back in as we get further down. And you might find you can go further whether you're using the straw or your thumb or a lip roll. It might be your range might be a bit different depending on the exercise that you're using.
So we're gonna go with an NG now, um, but we're gonna open it to an R. So be careful um, that it, there isn't an aggressive attack when you switch from the NG shape to the R. For example, so we're gonna drop in at the top, we're gonna go As we're higher, make sure you don't you're not like hitting it really hard at the top. Just come in really nice and gently to just get you to where you need to go. Low voices will start here, higher voices will start here. So go. This 
this one's a bit of a fun one. Let's see, hope this doesn't stop my recording. No, nope, it's still going, good, good. Um, so we're gonna go with a whoop, make it really hooty and loose. We're gonna whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, just let whoop, whoop, whoop. It'll really start, you'll really start feeling it move when we're through your bridge and up into your head. So just down there for the lows, up before the highs, and whoop. similar kind of shape and approach but we're going to break up the um the pattern we're going with a who we're going to keep it super hooty as well and we're going to you can put a little whoop 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 like a little whoop onto the top of it there if that helps you um so you're just going to keep it really loose kick it forward really open just whoop We're gonna engage the air like a whistle. So when you get to the top, it's you're relying on the air to hit the note. Nothing here is relying on hitting the note. So, whoo, so it'd be like a let's think of a night. Where's a good spot? To it? So, whoo, 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 whoo. it's all air coming through the vocal cords. There's no muscles. There's no pinching. We're gonna really think about using our air and as if we're singing, like whistling through our vocal cords. So we're gonna.
careful you don't get lightheaded. If that felt really good, mess around with um, with different vowels, but put a W at the start. If you want, you can like a Now with the wa, you could get a little bit more commercial sounding. Let's do a little bit of that actually. We'll start here. We're not going to go too far with it. Um, actually, no, let's start before the bridge from the female. So we go wa 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 wa. Oh, oh, oh. 
different ways you can go into different tones styles colors effects all those things um, but by opening up and warming up with those really gentle warm-ups you're gonna have so much more fun up at the top so i hope you enjoyed that i hope everything's feeling good if you need to go on the podcast check out the cool down and uh go cool cool things down with the rocky voice podcast if you need to do that um other than that i will see you next time thanks a lot have a great day